I'd say Evergreen Basketball is unique. Evergreen Basketball is my home. Evergreen Basketball is my family. I've played since I was uh, in elementary school and just being able to be a part of that family since as long as I can remember playing basketball is just an amazing feeling. And as of March of last year, Evergreen Basketball is a championship program. These athletes that had grown up together and are sisters in many ways had finally reached the pinnacle of the sport they love. The Cougars bested Pueblo South 45-35 in the state title game to win their first ever championship in the sport. But the path to the top wasn't easy. Evergreen had always been a competitive program, but was never quite able to take the next step. That would change under head coach Amy Ball, who took over the program in 2012. Ball, a graduate of Rocky Mountain, who also played her college ball at Fort Lewis, was recommended for the position when Coach Allie Meyer stepped down. She didn't feel the need to make many changes to the culture, but one key decision has helped fuel the program's recent success. When I came in, I just wanted to kind of establish my own program uh, and system, uh, keeping it all kind of unified. Everyone ran the same thing. I think what's great is each year a group of kids come in that have been playing together since they were in fifth or sixth grade, and I think that's a huge factor to our success because they've played together, they've built that team chemistry, so when I get them, then it's just time to implement my stuff, and they're super coachable kids that buy into it, and I think that's why our system's been so successful is we have the team chemistry plus then, you know, putting in the structure and discipline of the system. This change was most felt in between the 2014-2015 and the 2015-2016 seasons, where the Cougars jumped from 17 wins in a first-round playoff exit to a 24-win team and an appearance in the state title game against league rival Valor Christian. But that wasn't the only reason for the elevation of the program. The big step was when we made it to the state finals, obviously, and I had worked with that group for four years. Um, and then coming in, you know, the next year I'd worked with that group for four years. So it's just being able to have them be a part of the system uh, program for that long and coaching them uh, for that long. The Cougars would fall in that contest 55-40 to 40 as the Eagles won their second straight state title. But some key lessons were learned in that loss. I think the girls learned that it that it was not fun to lose that game. I think we just learned what it felt like to lose and we didn't want that to happen again, so we just wanted to redeem ourselves. I would say almost we had the wrong mindset. Not that we wanted to lose, but like there's this thing in basketball where you either play not to lose or you play to win, and I feel like that year we were playing not to lose. So then we used that as motivation the next year and being like, we're playing to win, we are gonna take this, because last year was just so upsetting because we made it all the way, and then to lose is heartbreaking. In addition to the loss of the game, the Cougars lost five seniors, four of which were starters, to graduation. This meant that Evergreen was left with one senior in Keegan Drysdale, two key juniors in Bailey Galan Brown and Christina Schreiber, and sophomore standout Claudia Dillon to lead the way. It changed a lot just because we had two really good posts, and once they left, I was kind of like one of the only ones left. So being able to kind of be there when my team needed me to get rebounds or to put up some points on the board was kind of a big change for me, and it was something that I feel like I got better at towards the end of the season. I definitely had more of a leadership role being on one of the starting five. I started playing a lot more as a starting guard instead of starting on the bench. It was a very different team, I feel like. We were all playing for each other, I feel, and nothing against those seniors. I just think it was a better chemistry for that year than it was previous year. And that chemistry was just the right concoction to finally get over the top. The Cougars would rack up 25 wins, yet wouldn't win the league title as their three losses came to rival and league champ Golden and, of course, Fowler Christian. But they would get the ultimate revenge as they clipped the Eagles' wings at a 19-point blowout in the quarterfinals. We played great. I mean, we, we played one of our better games of the year, and I think it was a little redemption for us, for sure. And uh, the girls felt vindicated in that and uh, just carried us over into, you know, the final four and state finals from there were you know, something that was super achievable f for us at that point. After that, they knew the title was theirs for the taking. It finally hits and it's, it's a shock. I mean, it, it happened. It happened to you. You're, you're, not, you're not really ever expecting it and then it happens and it just felt amazing. It meant a lot just having kind of our team all together and finally kind of getting that redemption from the following year. It was really great. Um, it was just a great experience. There's not too many words that I can use, but it's just something you got to feel. But it was awesome to win it. I still get chills thinking about it. Like we have so much, had so much energy that game, and like when those last 
few seconds went off the buzzer and we just like, oh, it's such an amazing feeling. I'm getting chills thinking about it now. As we come into this year, the Cougars are once again ready to take on the state's best. Graduating just one senior from last year's team gives them an edge that many teams don't have. But first, they need to battle their way through the toughest league in 4A, knowing that they have a target on their back. Everyone that we play is going to try to play their absolute best to try to knock down the champions, so we just got to stay on top and play our hardest right back at them. I think we need to approach the season even like with more intensity and more energy and focus than we did last season because obviously we have like a, an X on our back that everyone's going to want to come and beat us and um, every game that we lose is going to be that team's championship game because they beat the state champs. I honestly just think we have to take it one game at a time. A lot of people just ask like do you think you'll go all the way and we're like just like in my opinion I just think we have to take it one game at a time, baby steps, we'll see how that goes. and. If we keep going, we keep going, and we use what we have and just push, so. And although they take the season one game at a time, there are a few contests that these players are circling. Probably Valor. I'm really looking forward to Golden and Valor mainly. I was looking forward to the Valor game because it's a double header, and that's our first one being like that with Valor. And we'll have a huge crowd, and I'm ready to beat them. Get your popcorn ready. The Cougars first play at Valor and at Golden, back to back on the 19th and 24th of January but then get both squads at home to close the season. But no matter what happens this season, these Evergreen Cougars are poised to take a swipe out of the Jeffco for years to come. For the Xfinity Sports Report, I'm Gary Sevens. Cougars on three, one, two, three, Cougars!